Hello YouTube. So this is Mac OS 10, and if you're wondering how I installed this into my computer or PC, uh, in this video, I'm going to teach you how I install this from all the things you need to download up to the part where you're going to just play around with it. So uh, enjoy the video and. Uh, okay first what are the things you need so a CD of uh, iBoot it's a uh, disk image that I'll be providing you in the links in the description and a DVD of Mac OS 10 Snow Leopard uh, I, re I really recommend that you go to your nearest Apple store and buy one because I don't know in your country that the downloading of this is very illegal and you really don't want to get in prison just doing this so in this installation I'm going to install it on this uh, Western Digital hard disk it's an IDE one. It's very dark. Uh, there you go. It's an IDE disk. And for the computer itself, I'm going to install it into my PC. So uh, I'm just going to attach my hard disk into my computer. And let's go. Okay, so my Western Digital disk failed. So I'm going to install it instead on this Seagate hard drive so let's begin power on my PC and insert the iBoot disk and just select the disk drive as the first uh, boot device there you go it's going to load up the bootloader which allows Mac OS 10 to boot into PCs there and in this part you see it says I boot supported and the and the 4 gig hard drive by this part just leave it there eject the iBoot disk because it's in the memory instead anyway take it out and uh, insert the Mac OS 10 DVD and by the way it's a 6 gigabyte uh, this so it's a double layer disc a DVD disc so just just wait for it to finish uploading okay and when it's done press F5 and there you go it says Mac OS 10 Mac OS X install DVD so just select that using the arrows and press enter. And just wait for it to boot up and there you go. So just really wait for it to finish uploading. Oh yeah, and when you're doing this I suggest you borrow a USB mouse and a USB keyboard. I'm using a standard PS2 keyboard but I'm using this USB mouse just in case so that not all computers are supported and the mouse and keyboard usually don't work. Uh, I've also disconnected all my other hard drives because I really 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 recommend that you don't do this to your hard drive 
with your primary hard drive where all your files and settings are in there because not all the first installation really works right away so I think it's going to be finished right now uh, and the first boot up is very very long because it's booting from the DVD so I'm just going to stop the video and when it finished loading I'll be right back okay so the disk finished uploading and the reason why I asked recommended to use a USB mouse so that right away the keep the mouse works as you look there it moves just right so let's begin select the use English for the main language and press this next button here okay there's the install Mac OS 10 window so I'm just going to do this right away because it's very easy so click continue click the agree if you re if you want to read all this click agree and right and usually the disk is ha have this exclamation mark or your disk might not be in here at all so if that happens go to the utilities in the menu bar click disk utility and from there you see the 40 gigabyte hard drive that I inserted and what you need to do is click erase use the mac os x extended uh, mac os extended journal the mac os extended journal file system and we're going to rename this Mac there and click erase so just wait for it to finish up erasing the disk there and then you can close that now and yes you, you can install it into this disk now but before that you can select the customize here you can actually customize, customize the installation so you, you can install the things that you might need for future use I uh, use Rosetta quick time 7 and I really don't have any printers, so just uncheck that. Additional fonts, language translation. Uh, just accept the defaults. I just uninstalled printer support. And click OK. Then click install. So it's going to begin installing the operating system itself. And it's going to take around maybe one hour or 30 minutes or just 24 minutes and uh, it depends on your computer's performance and the disk's performance it's going to take a while because this is an IDE hard drive and if you're doing this on a new system those that those that are quite new I really recommend that you use a SATA uh, CD drive instead of an IDE hard drive for an IDE port for the uh, disk drive because that works so I'm going to pause the video and when it finished installing I'll be right back